The question is an infinite filament on the z axis carries 20 pi milliampere in the unit vector z direction. Three uniform cylindrical current sheets are also present. 400 milliampere per meter at rho equals to 1 centimeter minus 250 milliampere per meter at rho equals to 2 centimeter and minus 300 milliampere per meter at rho equals to 3 centimeter. And we have to determine H phi at rho equals to 0.5, 1.5, 2.5 and 3.5 centimeter. Now from the question, there is a infinite filament that is situated on Z axis and it carries a current I that is 20 pi milliampere. Surrounding this filament, there are three uniform cylinders whose current surface current density is given. There is a cylinder that is in the form of current sheet and this is situated at rho 1 equals to 1 centimeter and it carries a surface current density of 400 milliampere per meter. Surrounding these two that is a current filament and current sheet given there is a another cylindrical sheet which carries a surface current density K2 of minus 250 milliampere per meter and it is situated at rho 2 that is 2 centimeter means this cylindrical current sheet having a radius of 2 centimeter and there is a third cylindrical current sheet that is situated at rho 3 which is 3 centimeter and it carries a surface current density K3 of minus 300 milliampere per meter. So this is a given values and we have to determine H phi that is a phi component of H vector at rho equals to 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5 and 3.5. So, to determine the H phi that is a component of magnetic field intensity H vector, we use a ampere circuital law because here the current surface current density and current distribution is symmetrical so we can apply the ampere circuital law. By in using a ampere circuital law, we assume an amperian path. So, first is we have to determine H phi component at rho equals to 0.5. So here we assume an empyrean closed path of radius rho equals to 0.5. This rho equals to 0.5 is less than rho 1 that is 1 centimeter. So this empyrean path encloses only current I that is a current of 20 pi milliampere flow towards positive z direction. So by applying ampere circuital law that is closed line integration S dot dl equals to I enclosed and we know that since the current is flowing that is a steady current there is a magnetic field surrounding this filament and the direction of this magnetic field having only phi component means the H having a phi component H phi and the dot product of H phi H dot dl is also having a phi component. So, we can get H dot DL that is H phi 1 and closed line integration of DL. Closed line integration of DL is the length of this closed empyrean path. The length of this closed empyrean path is the parameter of the circle and its value is 2 pi rho. Here rho is 0.5 centimeter so it convert into meter that is 0.5 into 10 to power minus 2. So, after putting the values and the current encloses 20 pi into 10 to power minus 3, we get H phi 1 equals to 2 ampere per meter. So, this is the first case when we assume an empyrean path at rho equals to 0.5. The second is we have to determine H phi component at rho equals to 1.5. Here rho equals to 1.5 is in between of rho 1 and rho 2. And at rho equals to 1.5, when we assume an empyrean path, this empyrean path encloses a current and surface current density K1. And we know that 
the cylindrical current sheet having a surface current density k and its formula is current upon its perpendicular distance in case of cylindrical current sheet the perpendicular distance is the parameter of the cylinder that is a 2 pi into rho so in this way we can determine current i i equals to k into 2 pi rho so in place of current we can write k1 into 2 pi rho 1 as we assume an empyrean path that is passes through rho equals to 1.5 and in, it encloses a current i in the filament that is situated on z axis plus a current due to a cylindrical current sheet having current density surface current density k1 so with the help of k1 we can determine i1 that is k1 into 2 pi rho 1 so the total current encloses 20 pi into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 400 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 2. And in the left side, the closed eye integration of S dot dl, here again the h having a phi component, so we get h phi 2 and the closed eye integration of dl is the parameter of this empyrean path that is 2 pi into rho. And here rho is 1.5 centimeter and in meter it becomes 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So, after calculating we get H phi 2 that is 933 milliampere per meter. Similarly, the third case is we have to determine the H phi component at rho equals to 2.5. Rho equals to 2.5 is in between rho 2 and rho 3. So, at rho equals to 2.5 we again assume an empyrean path and this empyrean path encloses three values. The current I in the filament situated at on z axis plus the current due to surface current density k1 plus the current due to surface current density k2. So, by using the formula of i equals to k into 2 pi rho, we can use the ampere, ampere circuital law. So, at rho equals to 2.5, the total current encloses i plus k1 2 pi rho 1 plus k2 into 2 pi rho 2. So, after putting the values and the left side becomes h phi 3 close eye integration of 2 pi rho. Rho here, here rho is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So, after calculating we get h phi 3. Here h phi 3 is 360 milliampere per meter. And the fourth case is we have to determine the component h phi at rho equals to 3.5 centimeter. So, in this case, the rho equals to 3.5 centimeter, it's outside the given values. That is, this empyrean path which having a radius rho equals to 3.5 encloses all the values. That is, the current I that is flowing in a filamentary conductor situated on z axis plus the current due to surface current density k1 plus the current due to surface current density k2 plus the current due to surface current density k3. Similarly, we can apply the ampere circuital law that is the closed eye integration of s dot dl equals to i enclosed. So, the left side, the left side becomes h4 phi closed eye integration of dl. The closed line integration of dl is a parameter of this empyrean path that is 2 pi into 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. And the right side becomes a total current enclosed is the current in the filament, infinite filament that is 20 pi into 10 to the power minus 3 plus k1 into 2 pi rho that is 400 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 2 here. Rho 1 is 1 centimeter, so in meter it becomes 10 to the power minus 2 plus K2. Here the K2 value is minus 250 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 pi rho 2. Rho 2 is 2 centimeter and in meter it becomes 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 plus K3. Here K3 value is minus 300 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 pi rho 3. Here rho 3 is 3 centimeter and in meter it becomes 10 in 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, similarly we can determine h4 phi. After calculating h4 phi we get a value that is 
zero. So in this way, we can use the Ampere circuit law to determine the magnetic field intensity H component at any point because here the given current distribution and the surface current density is symmetrical. That's why we can use an Ampere circuit law and in this we use an Amperean closed path and the Amperean Ampere circuit law is closed line integration S dot DL is equals to current enclosed. The question is assume that there is a region with cylindrical symmetry in which the conductivity is given by sigma equals to 1.5 into e to power minus 150 rho kilo siemens per meter. An electric field of 30 unit vector z volt per meter is present. We have to determine first is current density g vector b is the total current crossing the surface that is rho less than rho naught z equals to 0 and all phi. And the third part is make use of ampere circuit law to find h vector. So, we find the first part that is we have to determine the current density j vector and from here the current density j vector equals to sigma into e vector. And here the e that is the electric field intensity is given that is 30 into unit vector z and the value of sigma is also given that is 1.5 into e to power minus 150 rho kilo. So, after putting the value of sigma and electric field intensity e vector, we get the current density j vector that is 45 e to power minus 150 rho kilo ampere per meter square in the direction of unit vector z. So, this is a simple one and the second part is the we have to determine the total current crossing the surface and here the cross surface is rho is less than rho naught z equals to 0 and all phi. And here z equals to 0 is given. z equals to 0 means constant value. So, its differentiation is dz equals to 0 also. So, the differential surface in case of cylindrical coordinate system has a differential surface in the direction of rho, differential surface in the direction of phi and differential surface in the direction of z. Since z equals to 0 is given and from this we get z, dz equals to 0. So, the first two surfaces is 0 and we use only the differential surface in the direction of unit vector z. Now, the total current, the total current is equals to surface integration j dot ds. Here j vector having a direction of unit vector z and also ds also have a unit vector z. So, the dot product of these two is that is the dot product of unit vector z and unit vector z is 1. So, we get only magnitude of j into magnitude of ds. So, after putting the values and here there is a surface integration, the surface integration is double integration and from here there is a two differential term that is d rho and d phi. So, there are two integration, first is with respect to rho and second is with respect to phi. So, we arrange according to this. So, we take a rho values with respect to d rho and phi with respect to d phi. So, from there is an integration term that is with respect to d phi and the limit is 0 to 2 pi because it is given all phi. So, all phi is 0 to 2 pi and the limit of rho is rho less than 0. The limit is 0 to rho naught. So, after putting the values and arrangement, the first integration that is uh, with respect to phi that is integration of d phi limit is 0 to 2 pi we get 2 pi value. And next is the integration with respect to d rho and here there is a term that is rho into e to power minus 150 rho into d rho and the limit is 0 to rho naught. So, we have to calculate this integration by integration by parts. So, we simply integrate it and put the value of the limit that is 0 to rho naught. We get the answer that is the current total current i equals to 12.566 within bracket 1 minus e to power minus 150 rho naught bracket 1 plus 150 rho naught ampere.
This third part is make use of MPA circuit law to determine H vector. In this third part, we use the MPA circuit law that is a closed I integration S dot DL equals to I enclosed. Because here the current density vector is given, so we can use a surface current density G dot DL. As we know that the magnetic field intensity have only phi component, so the left side become H phi closed I integration of DL. The closed line integration of DL is the parameter of the Ampere path that is 2 pi rho. And the right side is the surface integration of G dot DS. We can calculate this integration G dot DS similar to the third, second part. But here the limit is taken from rho equals to 0 to rho. Because in this, the surface is not given. So, we take a total values of rho that is 0 to rho. So, we calculate similar as part 2 B and here we use an integration by part and after putting the values, the limits 0 to rho, we can determine the value of H phi. In the left side, we get H phi into 2 pi rho. 2 pi 2 pi is cancelled we get only h phi into rho and we take rho to the right side and we get the answer that is h phi component equals to 2 upon rho within bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus 150 rho into e to power minus 150 rho ampere per meter. 